plastic is likely to have made its way to the ocean. One of the largest accumulations of the junk lies at the convergence of currents in the Pacific Ocean. It's called the Pacific Gyre and is being dubbed at the trash vortex or the great garbage patch. It's roughly the size of the US state of Texas, it's estimated at three and a half million tons of plastic. Well, the problem is massive, oh, let's according to the Ocean Conservancy, an organization I work with here in the United States uh, that organizes the largest global marine debris cleanup uh, every year in September. They mobilize almost 500,000 people, and in one day, those 500,000 people in over 100 countries can clean up over 7 million pounds of trash. it was easy. Such a shame for us to part. Nobody said it was easy. No one ever said it would be this hard. Oh, take me back to the start. you learned something about this video, but if you're already new the importance of recycling, I hope it just gave you more of a wake up call to say that it is not too late to start changing this world. If we don't make any changes, it, it, it might not be able to be fixed. People don't realize that recycling is so important, instead of just throwing it out the car, throwing it on the ground, it can be made into newer products or the same product it was. We we're not making so much plastic that it just just fills our oceans and it fills our forests and it's killing animals. Me being a plastic engineer at UMass Lowell, I really want to change this. I want to get more people aware of how this is affecting our planet. I hope that you will show this to your friends, families, and peers to let them know that Recycling is very, very important. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I thank you for watching it, and I thank you for your time.